You are about to enter. About to enter. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your mind. Open your mind. Open your heart. Your heart. It is time to reveal. To reveal. Time to unlock. Time to unlock. Time to listen and hear the truth. The secret mysteries, the secret mysteries hidden, agendas, mysteries, hidden agendas, hidden agendas, dark cabal, dark cabal, all dark come, cabal to light. come to light. Come to light. Behold, behold, hot come, hot come. My name is Salim Siddiqui, and this is the strangest story you have ever heard. He is the strongest of all the immortals. He is the perfect warrior. If he wins the prize, mortal man would suffer an eternity of darkness. How do you fight such a savage? With heart, faith, and steel. In the end, there can be only one. Of course, we're talking about the struggle of the ascension of man. The two opposing forces, the yin and yang, the ebb and flow, the light and dark that each of us travels through. And the true reality is in this story, there is one individual who paid and made the ultimate sacrifice and struggle and did what none had done before him. Jesus Christ, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. Well, let's begin as the position of Muslims. My name is Salim Siddiqui, and I am a follower of the Prophet Muhammad, a Muslim here in the land of the West. So let's talk about the concept of Jesus Christ. We begin with the Mother Mary, blessed and hallowed be her name, born from a noble lineage from the families of Imran and Zechariah, who when she secluded herself in prayer and praise, was approached by the angels who told her, Bear glad tidings, for you will be the mother of a son. And she declared, How could it be that I have a son when no man has known me? No man has touched me. No man has been with me. And so let it be openly known and declared that the Muslims and the followers of Muhammad are not like those other misguided fools and individuals that talk about claiming faith from those who call themselves Christians and those who know the true gospel and those who do not. We believe in the virgin birth and the hallowed nature of our mother Mary and you will never hear a Muslim saying anything other than truth about them. We believe that Jesus Christ, son of Mary, is the Messiah, the Christed one, the appointed one. Born by the very commandment of the Lord, be of light. Born as a son of man in the physical realm, a son of the mother Mary, from the sons and daughters, an heir of the legacy and inheritance of Adam, our true father. Born from the lineage of Abraham, our other true father in the method of faith and the story in the line. Born not in the state of forgetfulness, but aware of the truth and not forgetting. The first of us to be physically born, remembering the light of who they are and going through the physical journey until he completes his physical ascension into the skies. And as a Muslim, we declare that Jesus, son of Mary, the Christ, the Messiah, is of the light and pure of the noble beings who came to guide the way and the path and the truth and the light and perform the ascension into the heavens. And as those who follow the sunnah of Muhammad and believe in the verses of the Quran, we declare that Christ was not killed or crucified but ascended into the heavens. Now, of course, those of the dark manipulate the mind and delude and confuse. Those of us who understand the truth of the coming resurrection of the body of all who have passed away and those who will come, the gathering will, of course, hear We're talking about the battle between light and dark and good and evil. The battle between Jesus Christ in the final apocalypse with the Antichrist. The concept that man can both seek light and truth or seek darkness. And it is not the Muslims who are denying Christ 
as the truth and the way, as even the ascension of the prophet shows us that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And the prophet himself declared, no one passes from this world to the next world in the heavens without declaring and accepting that Jesus, son of Mary, is the Messiah. He is the one who performed the ascension prior to the prophet Muhammad. And the idea that in the physical realm, a battle must come to an end between the immortals, between the true perfect warrior of the dark and the true warrior of light. Patience, Highlander. You have done well, but it will take time. There are generations being born and dying. You are at one with all living things. Each man's thoughts and dreams are yours to know. You have power beyond imagination. Use it well, my friend. Don't lose your head. The concepts in the movie Highlander, where Duncan MacLeod or Connor MacLeod learns from the master Ramirez, the art of becoming a true noble warrior, a true fighter of spirit, to be everlasting, to be immortal. This is the legacy in the highest level of Jesus, son of Mary, that he ascends to the heavens and that he will return for those who fall into the time of the darkness and the calamity when the perfect warrior comes to fight for the ultimate prize and mankind would suffer an age, a time of darkness. Then upon them Jesus, the son of Mary, will descend again as Enoch before him has ascended and will return to carry out the physical body the physical journey, the physical time that all the sons of Adam must carry out and to face up against the Antichrist, the Dajjal, the false liar, in the epic battle and struggle. What makes Jesus, son of Mary, different is the concept of transmutation. Being able to ascend physically here in this realm with all the truths and the lies and the deceit to have gone through the physical journey on this earth and not just had no enmity or animosity or hatred for others to have forgiven all the grudges and feelings from the past and then have no yearnings or desires or wants or needs or fears about the future, to be so perfectly in the soundness and the knowing and the vibration of this moment to know with a certainty that you would give all of that up and sacrifice yourself to transmute and transform the mystery of the Last Supper All the fears and anxieties and pains of all the sons and daughters of Adam upon yourself and understand it and become one with it and accept it, not just for you and those around you or those in your village or those in your tribe, but all of those upon the earth, all in oneness. To perform that miracle, to let all of that into your heart and fill it with light in one moment in one breath to transmute all of everything that is with your own heart, with the light of who you are and attain the physical quickening, the vibration, the merging in of all that can be into the one body that would perform the ascension upon the stories of truth, of light, of the sons and daughters of Adam. And open a way for us as he told his disciples that they would do all this and more as he shared with his 12 disciples and him being the 13th in the Last Supper, fasting from Fajr in the morning till Maghrib in the evening as the Muslims and some who follow the truth and the way and the light still do. Sharing the body and the bread and the mystery of the blood 
of the water that courses through each and all of us and to transmute all of that in the physical form to perform the ascension it is what allows us to be here it is what allows us to travel it is one of the things that the prophet needed to give us this example of the ascension and it's demonstrated by the structure and the hierarchy of those who understand the transmutation the coming together of all of us now together with those who came before the masters and saints the pious the martyrs the saints and prophets the first storytellers and the last storytellers in al awwalina wal akhirina la majmu'una fi miqat yawm al ma'lum that all of them will gather together at the time of the gathering I have the power, I, the quickening that empowers me. I feel everything. I know, I know everything. I am everything to be connected in the oneness of all that is. The difference between spiritual ascension and physical ascension is the ability to make your body and soul physically one with everything so that you can communicate and understand the vibration of the sun and the moon and the stars, the birds and the bees and the plants and the trees and the elementals. And as was told to us by the prophet and the messengers, that which was done by understanding the divine feminine song of praise and beauty, like the song of Solomon in our story, who then understood the rhyme and the rhythm and the reason for everything as it sings and sings the praises of their Lord. Are you a man or a beast? For even the beast by their nature celebrate the praises of our Lord. You're listening to Hot Conflict, talking about the spiritual awakening and the physical ascension of the body. Are you a man or a beast? You are listening to Hot Conflict Radio. Coming live every Thursday night, midnight, 12 a.m. Eastern. Call in to get your questions and comments live on the air. Dial into the show by phone, 760-825-0949. You can dial in from the site on Blog Talk Radio using Skype or through a regular phone calling in at 760-825-0949. That's 760-825-0949. Get your questions and comments live on the air talking about the weird and the wild, the strange and the supernatural that go bump in the night get on hotconflict.com 